Hi guys, um, back again quickly. Um, I've just been updating, um, installing some more growing lights, sorry. Um, so I've installed a second growing light over here and I've moved this growing light from here down to there so I'm better covering the plants. Um, when I installed the solar panels and this logic writer, I made a mistake. And it's only just dawned on me. I was confused why I couldn't control more than one item at a time and it's not a logic writer you need it is a batch writer so it all a batch writer does write to many things daylight comparator i believe i called it daylight comparator output type is in this case i want it for the growing lights so it will be for grow light so that's all grow light on the same network and the output is on so then turn it on and there you can see the lights have just come on uh, inside the greenhouse so i can do the same i've got um two logic readers here so two logic readers here for these wall lights um but they are on the same network as these ones down here that's the only problem so for now i'm just going to leave that as is but where I can have an improvement, where I can save some power, is by doing the same for the five sun tracking solar panels. I only need one batch writer to update them all, which is what I'm going to do now. Um, so I'll do that offline. When you come back, um, it should all be set up. I just thought I'd let you guys know that anyway. A few moments later. So guys, um, yeah, I've, uh, I've made the change. Uh, I've just renamed a lot of these things as well, just to um, make it easier for me. So now I've got the five clusters dual solar panels, um, all rigged into this one batch writer. Um, and that has got rid of four logic writers. Um, so that's 40 amps, or 40 watts of power I'm saving there. Which is good as you can see my power is just about run out anyway but the sun is coming up so anyway i just thought i'd quickly show you that that is a way of saving power and yeah I, it didn't dawn on me at the time that i should be using a batch writer but yeah that's what it needs to be a batch writer write to many read one write to many so it's taking the reading from the math unit uh, math comparator and writing that data to all five panels hopefully that's useful